This is a quick look at the Sanren Mu 6040BUC PH. It's a long name and for a short knife. Anyways, so this is a small keychain EDC knife is what I would consider it that I purchased recently from GearVest. It's tiny, it's perfect for EDC carry for a keychain which is what I'll be doing shortly after this. I will be swapping out my current keychain EDC for this and it should fit the bill quite nicely. It has an FRN handle here which is plenty strong for a keychain knife which you shouldn't probably be using for heavy duty tasks and it's very light even if the FRN might not be as strong as G10 with the stainless steel liners it is good enough I put on here just a couple split rings just so it's easy to detach and clip on to my keychain there is a cutout here which provides excellent grip this is a very small knife just for an early comparison this is a Harns Talisman and this is the open blade the 6040 it's almost the same size almost anyways it's very small so the grip for this for most people will likely be three fingers like so so when it's gripped with three fingers if you have my keychain split ring it makes it a four finger grip and it's incredibly comfy the ergonomics with this and the cutout just ensure that this will not fall out of your hand not easily at least unless your pinky gets torn off anyways so like this that finger choil right there fits perfectly the other two fingers just sit on this long groove here like so and the pinky through the split ring your hand could either be back here or up top for more grip with the jimping which is very purposeful and very grippy the blade is again a drop point and as you can probably tell I'm pretty drawn to the drop points it's pretty useful very utilitarian there's a San Remu logo it's a hologram blade and being of such a thin stock it's gonna cut really well there is no sharpeners choil here really so you might ding up the base of the blade if you try and sharpen it there is almost no jimping that I, not jimping sorry, no cutouts, it's not skeletonized but with such a small knife and FRN skills it's not really necessary but it would always be nice still pivot screw is Torx adjustable should you need to but for mine I did not lock up up down is perfect side to side perfect even though I won't be taking this knife apart you can take my word that there are phosphor bronze or copper colored washers in there they're not the Teflon white ones or any other kind of synthetic plastic material and the deployment on this for me I would just use one hand kind of slow open deployment it's not really a knife that you could proficiently flick out unless you're very good and get used to it it's just kind of tiny even for my hands which are small I find it hard to open it so I usually just do a slow deployment or sometimes even I'll just use a two hand deployment like so 
and the lock back is the lock for this knife not a liner lock and there's no cutout but on a small knife like this I can't see how you could accidentally disengage it while holding it even if your hands are incredibly meaty so that is the knife perfect for keychain EDC carry I'll just show it to another small keychain knife that I have which is also a lock back so again the Saturn Moose 6040 BUC PH next to the Bird Finch similar materials almost to the T both have FRN handles both are lockbacks, both have an 8CR 13MOV Chinese steel, but this doesn't allow you to adjust the pivot should you ever develop any play or if you just want to take it apart and clean it up, whereas this one does. I will say however though that this is heavier than this simply because this is bigger and if you take a look the finch here is pure FRN. There's no stainless steel liners whatsoever. So this is way lighter than this. I would say at least two thirds the weight of this. Or more even. Let's have a comparison with them opened up side by side, the blade lengths. For the specifications on the dimensions and the materials, look in the description box. So that's the blade length, beaten this by a little bit. Blade thickness is comparable, but this is more kind of a, a saber grind, I guess you can say. So it does have a stronger tip. This is a mm, high hollow ground. So it has a much more delicate tip, but better for fine task. And that's the thickness of the handles. Very comparable. Slightly thicker. And that is it. Thanks for watching, until next time.